All right, what I did was is I made my own homemade fluorescent leak detection. They sell the actual dye. Um, haven't checked a price on it, but for some guys who just want to do everything on their own, here's uh, what I did. I took a highlighter, and if you read about UV fluorescent, a uh, very common thing uh, that's available is a highlighter. So I gutted it. And then the tube that comes out, uh, that's all baby oil there. I took the strands, I just kind of balled it all up and I threw it in there. Then I shook this up really good. And then I just poured just the liquid in a cup just to kind of get a little test there. And this right here is a UV light Home Depot. I think it was nine bucks. I just went and picked it up just because I want to, just you know, test this whole thing out. Um, the light I'm seeing through the camera here really isn't doing a good job uh, showing the UV, and maybe it's because the camera can't pick that up. But that thing is glowing big time in that cup. You just uh, I'm looking through my phone and I can't see that. So. Moral of the story is, if you don't want to buy your own, now I haven't tested this yet, actually like on a car or anything, but like any leak detection, it will leave trace amounts of, you know, in your motor. Uh, just so you know, this is non-toxic. I did check on that. And there you go. Now you can still see some of the crap in there, it's just because I didn't pull it out. I was trying to get it all soaked up and shake it, you know, shake it up. But that there is just the liquid. And, you know, when I get a chance, I'll maybe try and send it through an intake or something on the bench. But there you go. Some homemade leak detection fluid. Uh, again, it hasn't been tried or tested, but I don't see why it wouldn't work because, I mean... This is non-toxic and, you know, it has UV capabilities. So, there you go. If you don't want to buy the actual leak detection fluid, some homemade uh, leak detection.